Let's take a look at how this experimental design with blocking applies to our particular experiment. We see that one of the two factors is color, which is the fixed effect. And we know what the values of that are, red, green, and blue. The block effect, which represents a particular cockroach with a particular electrode implanted in its eye and a particular LED, that represents a block. The levels of the block don't really have any significance. In this case, they're just named A, B, C. Uh, we could name them Fred, Joe, and Charlie if we wanted to. It doesn't really matter, but the point is that each one of those represents a block, and on that block, we make a measurement for each of the fixed effects. The levels are really just used as grouping variables, and so we don't necessarily care about any of the measurements that uh, the averages for them or anything like that because they're basically random. It is possible in a blocked experimental design to have multiple measurements for each level of the block and for each level of the fixed effect. So we could have made, say, five measurements with red light on a particular cockroach eye. We didn't do that. Um, there's some issues with that. We really only have one measurement for each of the combinations in contrast to the other two factor ANOVA where we had five replicates for each one of the cells in the table. Because we only have one value per cell, in other words, no replication within the cells, there isn't any way that we can determine information about the interaction. The reasons for that are somewhat technical, but just take my word for it, we are not going to be able to assess the interaction in this particular situation. When we construct a model that is for a mixed model ANOVA, we are not able to just use the regular linear model function. There is a different function called LMER that comes out of the LME4 package, and it's specifically designed for constructing mixed linear models. In the LMER function, we put in the fixed effect in the same way as we did before, but there's a special notation that's used to indicate that a factor is a random factor, and that's these parentheses, the one, and then the pipe character. In our experiment, this is how that would look. We have Elmer, we pass in the dependent variable, the fixed effect, the and the random effect, we put a plus sign in here because we cannot do every combination of these. We cannot do the interaction term because of the fact that we don't have replication. So there's no additional term here for the interaction. And then we specify the data frame. One thing about mixed models, and that is that some statisticians consider it somewhat dangerous to draw conclusions from P and the LME4 package, therefore, does not directly calculate P. I mentioned, however, that if you have a balanced model, that is the same number of replicates for each of your combinations of treatments, then it is somewhat sensible to calculate what P is. So there is a version of the LME4 package called Elmer test that essentially is a wrapper that uses the LME4 package to calculate all of the ANOVA statistics, but then it adds on an additional calculation of P so that you can assess the significance of the factors.